Okay, Cheryl, what do you want? You have to fix the TV. What are you doing with that? Cheryl, I'm busy right now. Later. You broke the TV, didn't you? No. Look, little bits of it fell off, honest. You wait till Mom gets home. I'm going to tell her and you're going to get in big trouble. Mom, what? I see Puller. Thank you, nurse. We're nearly there. Replace the see. Wait. Careful. Put your other hand in mine. Remember, static is the enemy. Are you kidding me? No, Alice. I'm serious. The anti-static phone. Oh, our romantic love among the circus. Hi, Farley. Hi, you guys. Cheryl just told me what you did to the television antenna. You better have that fixed by tonight or you've got a big problem with me. Hi, Lieutenant. Hi. Got here in time for the show. If the stuff I got from the computer room is right. <clears throat> Look at that. Unreal. Really unreal. You can do that. That's what I told you. What I want to see is, will the system let in an outsider? What's the code for a burglary in progress? It's a code uh, 459. Great. 459. Across the street. Charlie, what was he saying about the computer room? Oh, that's, uh, no, no. I think that proves the point. <laughs> Richie, is there any way to find out where the messages are coming from? That'd be hard. I'd need some extra stuff, like a rotator for the antenna. Hey, if you want something to rotate, just ask Herman. He can do that? Yeah, of course. You really don't know that much about Herman, do you? Okay, Alice, I get your point. Let's get to it. See you two outside. Back in business here, Polly. Send those clowns in. Okay, Mr. Digby, all set. Maybe you could tell us exactly what we're ripping off. Synthetic interferon. Retails for $2,000 a gram in Kuwait. The conveyor that's going to land here in 15 minutes is carrying a box containing 10 kilos. That's $20 million. <laughs> the box is labeled biosynthetics. I want that box. Go! Five thousand inquiries a minute. That should keep them busy. Captain Huntley. Now we should get some directional information. Hey, look, that's
That seems kind of weird, doesn't it? Sure does. I think we've got it. Got what? They're trying to overload the system. They had DMV requests. Thousands of them a minute. The machine can't take that kind of load. If I superimpose my map program, we should find the transmitter. Okay. Is that Burbank Airport? Right. Let's roll. Okay, you guys stay put. Hey! want to make you barf sometimes? I mean, did we figure it out or what? I knew there was something I wanted to tell him, the man in the RV. Well, guys, what are we waiting for? Come on. Golf 7, clear the active. You'll find your fuel on the east rim. Hi there. Our office asked us to help out. Everything set? Oh, yeah. Hey, it's a special deal with Splite, huh? You could say that. This is going to ruin me. Hello, this is Captain Huntley. Get me the mayor. Quinn and Farley could have had this all wrapped up by now. I'll take your money on that. I'm not that dumb. Let's go. It's a fast turnaround here, guys. Can we get the fuel on right now? Sure thing, Captain, but you should take a look down here. There's stuff leaking all over the place. I'll be right down. Guy? Yeah, the same guy. See that little antenna on the roof? Yeah, that sure isn't for any CB. Okay, hey, I'm fine to phone. Call the police. Jeremy, Alex, we have to figure out a way of keeping them here. Why don't we just let the air out of the tires? Sometimes, Alice, you think just like a program. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, son, I need the phone. Hey, hey, Lieutenant. <laughs> Look, we found him. You found who? The guy in the RV. What guy in the R... Just a second. Yeah, this is Quinn. I need to talk to Captain Huntley, please. Yes, Mayor. Do you realize you made me a laughing stock? I know, Mayor. Huntley, you're on the airport parking detail. Yes? Tell Quinn to... Just tell him to get lost. Look, Lieutenant, you don't understand. I thought we told you kids to stay put. Yeah, Frank, hey, look, uh, I need a big favor. Mm -hmm. 